Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys how you can downgrade your iPhone from iOS 14 back to iOS 13 and that without losing any data at all. So here I have my iPhone SE and it's on iOS 14 right now. We will downgrade this back to iOS 13 and everything will be there. All the data that I have here, all the pictures that I have, the notes, the messages, everything will be back here on this device once we are done downgrading back to iOS 13. Now the process is fairly simple, just make sure you follow all the steps and you will be good to go. The first thing you want to do is of course download the iOS 13 file, the IPSW for your iPhone. To do that, just click on the link that you will find in the description of this video. It will take you to this website where you can click on iPhone right there and then find the model of iPhone that you have. Here I have the SE and here we have the file. So iOS 13.5.1 is the only iOS 13 version being signed right now. So I can go ahead and download this on my computer. Now, once you have that downloaded, you're good to go. You go ahead and open Finder. If you have a Mac or if you have Windows, you go ahead and open iTunes. Now, I suggest you do back up your device before doing this process. Now, the process is very, very safe. I've done this quite a few times, never had a problem, but just in case, always make sure that you go ahead and back up your device. You can do that from here within iTunes or Finder on Mac. Now, once you have all that set up, you have the IPSW file downloaded, you have your device already backed up, what you have to do is go ahead and tap on the option key on Mac and on the shift key on Windows. While holding the option or the shift key, go ahead and click check for update. Now from here, it allows us to go ahead and choose the IPSW file. Go ahead and choose the one that you just did download and click open and now you're good to go. Tap on update and just wait for the process to finish. Now this process will go ahead and update Basically, it thinks it's updating your device, but it's actually downgrading. And from iOS 14, it will go back to iOS 13.5.1. Now, let's just wait for this process to finish and we will come back. So here we are back on the device and everything is back here. You can see all the apps that I had here, what we got here, the notes, everything, even the Safari history, the profile that I downloaded for iOS 14. I'm still on that website here on Safari, so everything will be back there once you have done this process. Again, the process is fairly simple to do. Just follow the steps and always, always make sure the, that you do back up your device before doing this process. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more. I'll see you on the next one.